Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the Houston Texans 2019 NFL Draft Class based on analytics. And if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. And with all that stuff out of the way, let's get to the first pick of the draft and Titus Howard, uh, offensive tackle from uh, Alabama State. Uh, when you look at his athleticism data, he had an 81.91 explosion score, 95.02 speed score, and 40.15 flexibility score. When you look at the thresholds at the offensive tackle position, he pretty much hits above the explosion and speed thresholds he needs to hit, with the exception of flexibility testing. His flexibility testing is, is very, very close to the Pro Bowl threshold, but not quite there, but still good explosion traits, good speed traits. Uh, when you look at the averages of the position, the main thing he he lacks is flexibility testing. So he does have the explosion traits you're looking for. He does have the speed traits you're looking for. But it's that flexibility testing where he runs into a couple issues. Now, there are a lot of different players who have this type of athleticism profile who've gone on to be very, very good. Joe Thomas is one of those examples. Now, Joe Thomas had better flexibility testing, but he's he is an example of someone who was very explosive, very fast, but wasn't as, as flexible. Uh, and uh, I, th I think there is some potential over Titus Howard. I think, you know, he's someone that has the traits you're looking for to become a starter to fringe Pro Bowl type. So I think this is a good pick. I know a lot of people might have panned it because of where he played, but I think this is an okay pick on upside, and I think at the very least you get a starter with Titus Howard. Then, of course, you get to Lonnie Johnson Jr., uh, quarterback out of Kentucky. Uh, when you look at his uh, production data, 58.18 solo tackle score, 35.63 pass deflection score, and those are just not getting it done. Doesn't hit the all-pro threshold in terms of his solo tackle data or his uh, pass deflection data. And when you look at the averages, well below what the averages are in terms of solo tackle data and pass deflection data, um, he does have good athleticism traits, you know, high 90 percentile and explosion, um, 76.66 in terms of speed and 81.09 in terms of flexibility. Um, he essentially has Pro Bowl athleticism traits without the production to match and a lot of times cornerbacks like this either become starters who woefully underperform or they become starters who uh end up not being starters very long because the that lack of production really shows up you know when you're a cornerback who's really really athletic and you're not productive it's not a good combination in terms of future outcomes then of course we get to the next pick of the draft which of course is max uh scraping or sharping uh from uh, uh i think from niu i think yeah, NIU, Northern Illinois. Um, when you look at his athleticism traits, 82.34 in terms of explosion, 71.35 in terms of speed, and 78.47 in terms of flexibility for his size. I think this is a very, very good pick. Doesn't hit all pro thresholds, but does hit above the Pro Bowl thresholds. And when you look at the averages of the position, he definitely looks like a very, very solid starter when you look at the averages. Doesn't quite hit all the areas he needs to hit in terms of Pro Bowl or all pro potential, but definitely hits all the areas he needs to hit in terms of starter potential. I think that's how I should see Max. I think Max has a good chance to become a starting tackle. And again, this is a good pick for the Texans. I think, you know, addressing the offensive tackle position is something they, they needed to do going into this draft, and I think they've done that. I think Titus Howard has a potential to be a starter or a better tackle. I think Max has also has a very good chance of becoming a starting tackle as well, uh, based on overall data. Uh, then, of course, we get to the next pick, which, of course, is Cahill Waring. Tight end out of San Diego State. When you look at his, his uh, market share production, he had 59.92 uh, production score. Didn't, doesn't hit the all-pro threshold, but does hit above the Pro Bowl threshold and the starter threshold. Uh, when you look at the averages of the position, nowhere near the all-pro average, Pro Bowl average, or starter average, but definitely hits at least the threshold. And I think the biggest reason why he was drafted where he was drafted was based on athleticism data. 86.54 in terms of explosion, 76.40 in terms of speed, and 70.99 in terms of flexibility for his size. Doesn't hit all the all-pro slash Pro Bowl areas, but is very, very close. In terms of averages, he's definitely within the starter averages at the position. And I think that's how you should look at Warring. I think Warring has a good chance to become a starting tight end and has potential uh, to be a pretty decent tight end prospect. So I'm going to be very excited to see what exactly happens with him. There is a chance that he could become a bust or at least someone who doesn't really become as good as the data suggests, just because of the level of competition in terms of his production and the fact that he wasn't really that productive. But I do think he's going to become something, and I think that's a good thing for the Texans. Then, of course, we get to Charles Aminihu, a defensive end out of uh, Texas, 59.40 in terms of solo tackle data, 77.45 in terms of sack data, and 69.35 in terms of tackle for loss data. 
Uh, it doesn't hit the all-pro thresholds he needs to hit, but does hit above the Pro Bowl thresholds in terms of his production data and in terms of athleticism data. 92.41 in terms of explosion, 48.69 in terms of speed, and 56.69 in terms of uh, flexibility for his size. Doesn't hit all the areas he needs to hit in terms of all pro slash pro bowl potential, but does hit all the starter areas. And I think that's how you should see Charles Aminihu. I think Charles Aminihu has a good shot of becoming a long-term starting uh, edge prospect in the NFL. Has all the production you're looking for. Has the athleticism traits you're looking for. And I think it's a good pick. I mean, I think this is a solid pick for them. Uh, not someone who doesn't really have elite potential, but definitely has the traits on paper in terms of production athleticism to be something decent. Then, of course, we get to Xavier Crawford, cornerback out of uh, Central Michigan. When you look at his uh, production data, 8.02 in terms of solo tackle data, 97.75 in terms of pass selection data. So great ability to find the ball and make plays in the ball, but doesn't really tackle as many people as you want him to tackle. You know, based on his tackling data, but definitely great ball skills in terms of just being able to be disruptive uh, at the, uh, you know, uh, when the ball is coming in. In terms of athleticism, 66 uh, in terms of explosion and, of course, 51.68 in terms of speed. Doesn't have all pro or pro bowl athleticism traits, but definitely has starting athleticism traits. And I think that's how you should view Crawford. I think Crawford would be someone who definitely has a shot to become a starting quarterback or slot cornerback for them, and I think there's a good shot that he could he could become that. So I think this is a good pick. I think this is a pick that could surprise based on his production data and his athleticism traits. And then the final pick of the draft, which of course was uh, Colin uh, Gillespie uh, from Texas A&M. Uh, he's more of a fullback type guy, so I'm really not going to delve too much into him because I don't really do fullback, fullback data or full, full, uh, fullback metrics just because fullback has become such a uh, a lost sort of position that it's really just not, uh, I, won't, I don't want to say not worth it, but I mean, it's, it's just so few of them that it's really hard to get enough data to, to really see what the outcomes are differently in terms of it. But um, I'm not going to grade this too harshly, but overall, I think the Texans had a good draft. I think when you look at the tackle positions, they, they hit those out of the mark. I think Lonnie Johnson was a miss. But I think Xavier Crawford does make up for that miss a little bit because of just his production data. I think Charles Aminihu is going to be a long-term starter. I think uh, Kahel Waring has a good chance to become a long-term starter. But I think this is a good class. I think there's a lot of good picks in here, a lot of good players in here. And I think there are going to be a handful of starters coming out of this draft class based on data. So I think this is a, this is a pretty decent draft. And, of course, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification bell in case you want to be reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.